Raiders coming through the tunnel earlier. I don't think you can get this game started soon enough for them. That's a Friday night, everyone. Time to kick off the weekend with the NBA on 2K Sports. Brian Anderson here with you. Our analyst tonight, Chris Weber and Grant Hill. Also, Allie LaForce on the sidelines. Allie, it's all yours. There's a growing sense of activism in the NBA. Kevin Durant said, quote, players are stepping up, whether it's peaceful protests, giving back to the community, or using their platform to tell stories. It's beautiful to see people come together for what we all believe in, which is equality. When we move as one, we are powerful. Guys? All right, Allie, thank you. On Wednesday, and then on Wednesday, the road is never the highlight of the schedule for any team. But for these guys, it is a chance to go out there, test themselves, and see how well they gel outside of home court. It could be a very valuable experience. Now the starting group for the visitors. Well, Steve Webb, you were one of the few passing bigs in your day. Now it seems like we're seeing loads of front court players also be decision makers. Well, yeah, hopefully I'll go into the game like those days before me, you know, Rangers and others, and maybe you want to be a good passer. I love it. I mean, bigs can be playmakers too. Yeah. 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 Starting 
to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, that's because he's hitting it enough to call early. I mean, he's doing his part to help carry the ball. Now here's Hunter. That's it. Now two of six from the field. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly that was their game plan coming in. Using a solid 50% of the opening quarter. Outside, Brown. Two free throws, he was fouled in the act of shooting. Hey, you can't block it. Sending him to the line can be the next best thing. changes here.
failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something that needs to change and change soon. Yeah, they might be pressing in the world, forcing to get in you. This is a good opportunity to calm everyone down. Here's Ford. And it's good. Ford through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. Got 7 of 15 to find the net. Pass to Watson. Drives to the hoop. And the shot goes down. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. A minute 35 left in the first. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And he can't hit the second. They're playing with a lot of energy tonight. We can see that in their dominance on the glass. Junior outside. Second chance effort. Can't get it to go. Missed the first one. Going 5 of 12 in this first quarter. Off target from outside. Shooting around 44% of this opening quarter. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Both shots good for the strike. Making shots at the line. You need a good routine, and he certainly has one. 55 seconds left in the first quarter here. Driving inside. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. He hears the whistle, and he keeps his concentration and is able to knock it down. Seconds left to play in the first. Here's Watson, Junior outside. Pass to Watson. Three pointer, and the three pointer goes. 
He's got five. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. Going for the jump, but right off the bat, he's jumping out to an impressive throw lead. Here's Boyd. There's the drive. Oh, stolen by Junior. the home team now. Down by 12. Shot clock at 2. The jumper from the wing off target. Shooting a nice 50% for the game. Hunter with the ball. He's got 6. Junior outside. Back to Hunter. The 3 ball. He hits it. It's 4th make in 10 tries. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. That's what you love about him. He shows no mercy, even with the comfort. Pass to Brown. Hunt's recovering. That's good. His first made shot of three attempts. Where's the rim protection? That's just too easy for him. And 
there's a pick. Hits the trifecta. That's his second three-pointer of this quarter. That has not been any in the first. And so the ball out of bounds. Brown touched it last. They set a pick. Looking to win the run. Got a hand on it. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. From deep. He can't hit that time. He is just so deadly from out there. You would expect that to fall. The bait. And he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Just can't stay connected to shooters. 
Gotten only three of nine attempts to fall in the second. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to stream together some shots at any kind of chance. Trying to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Inside, it's picked off. Space there and he just takes his time. Both teams will make substitutions. Using only 40% from the floor in this game. They set the pick. And a foul call on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Man, the defender really went after him. First free throw is good. So he makes both from the line. He's got seven or twelve shots to go here in the second. Here's Watson. Twenty-nine seconds left to play in the second quarter. Knocks it down from distance. We'll give him eight points now. In today's game, you can never afford to get beat in the three-point battle. Here's Boyd. Eleven seconds left in the second quarter. Five to shoot. And he's going for the oop here. And there's two work on the glass, man. Off that time. He got in excellent position. Then takes it right back up. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. Delivering the blowout. And we'll be right back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. See you in just a bit. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. Checking out the visiting team. Kenny, give us your tip. The thing I've noticed more than anything is how well they spread the floor at the offensive end. Their spacing has been fantastic, and the end result has been a lot of good looks from three-point land. And now they've established themselves from long range, and the defense has to adapt. They're in really solid position right now. And, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. 
Well, they're obviously facing a hot shooting team tonight. That combined with the lackluster effort on defense, recipe for disaster. This game is O D A. Over. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. Free throw, no good. And the second free throw is good. Third quarter here, over a minute and a half into it. Outside Hunter. Now here is Junior. Not a lot of room. Shot clock at three. And the three off target. Shooting just 38% for this game so far. Short range. 
And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Brian, the Elon ending is a new concept that the NBA has tried out. Down the stretch, you turn off the clock, and you play to a target score. Much like a pickup game at the front Chris Paul was the one who actually suggested trying it out in last year's All-Star game, and it was a rousing success. But we'll see how far it goes. Great idea. Good stuff, Allie. Thank you. Outside, Brown. The three. No luck on that one. Going over three to start the second half. Outside Hunter. To the inside. Can't catch it in from close range. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Left side, Brown. And the ball ends up out of bounds. And they retain possession. Both teams deciding to change it up. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. That should really give them a jolt. I mean, nothing like a rejection to light a fire under you.
Here's Watson. Give him eight. Shoots. Yes, on the jumper. Ten points for him. Here's Boyd. Junior with the rebound. Junior's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Pass to Watson. Takes a three. Nails it from three. <laughs> Leaving absolutely nothing on the table right now. Their focus and execution has been outstanding. Absolutely. Thank you for listening this. They're in the flow. They're riding that way for as long as they can. Out to the right wing. With nobody on him, he buries that jumper. Gone cold here in this third quarter. Just three to nine. Driving to the basket. Misses from close range. There's 57 seconds left to play in the third quarter of basketball. This is the layup. And that goes out of bounds. And now keep possession. He had the right idea, just couldn't come up with the swipe. And you can tell he feels he should have had it still. The hustle impressive. Shooting only 30% of the third quarter. Takes it inside. And he makes it. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. Yeah, yeah. Horrible effort. It appears they may be on the brink of giving up. Here's Boyd. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Shoot two. And he drops the first. It's both from the strike. 20 seconds left in the third quarter here. Just three on the clock. And yes, it goes. Got a little English on that one. Six points for him. At the end of the third quarter, a huge lead. This one may have already been decided. Delivering the blowout. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter when we return. we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. Ooh, I'm fired up to see this dish one more time. It's always great to see your two guards share the wealth. Well, I like that he did make his decision too early. You know, he left the play to the balance. That's how you do it. Find the weakness in that defense. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. 
Grant, the issue of load management became a big topic in the past few years. What's your take on the regular rest for a lot of big-time players? Well, B.A., I'm a big believer in rest and recovery throughout the course of an 82-game season. I mean, it is such a long season. There's so much wear and tear, the travel, uh, the pace of the season, the amount of games. So I'm all for that. Although I think that sometimes we've gotten a little too far where uh, we err on the side of too much rest and too much load management. So I hope the pendulum swings a little bit back where, yes, we emphasize it uh, and we enforce it, but we don't go too far with it. I feel like it, it's not great for the game. It's not great for the fans. Uh, it's supposed to be hard. The season is not supposed to be easy. And so I'm a big fan of it, but we just have to be careful it doesn't get too far out of control. That free throw misses. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. Shooting a nice 50% for the game. Got the Shooting around 35% for the game. And the league working to clarify certain rules. See, when you talk about legal guarding position, are defenders given the benefit of the doubt enough when they go up vertically? Or is it offensive? They definitely need uh, to keep their majesty offensive player and, and as a defender, so what? You know, you know, you keep going. But you do play the fights as a defender, absorbing the contact, but um, sacrificing your body, if you ask most of the defenders, it should be rewarded, not punished. Just fired the shoot. Off the turnaround, Jane. That one's wide left. Fourth quarter now, we're about a minute and a half in. Gets the three ball to go. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. Got just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. an opening and capitalizes. Sinks it from distance. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Super four now. things to come out of last season was an epic MVP race won by Giannis Antetokounmpo. No question, B.A., the MVP, the young guy, Giannis Antetokounmpo, versus the old man in LeBron James. Nobody thought LeBron James still had this level of play in him when he proved that he was elite. But look, at the end of the day, two top teams, the number one record in the Eastern Conference, the number one record in the Western Conference, he came down to the end. Of course, the votes came in favor of Giannis, who did have a remarkable regular season. Makes a 13 footer, and there it is for him. And he couldn't get an easier shot. The defense right now just looks to be. I mean, I don't know what they did. You have to go to scout the report. He's a threat from out there. Here's Bullock. Yeah, that one's good. Three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. No good with the triple. And I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Got a piece of it. Going inside. Oh! Trying to tear the hitches off the roof. With the reverse slam, that was sweet. Ah, the finesse on full display.
Grant, what do you think about the NBA lottery and how it affects teams moving forward? Teams that have terrible seasons the year prior. To be there, it's so important for teams to have a chance to establish a foundation. To draft players who have a lot of runway in front of them to be a part of that team for many, many years. You only get better a few ways. Through free agency, trades, and through the NBA draft lottery. So if you're not a good team, chances are you're not going to sign a good player, you're not going to be able to trade for a good player. So the best way is through the NBA draft and give yourself some time as an organization and hope over the long haul you have a chance for great success. He misses the free throw. He hits the second from the line. The visitors with the ball. Pass to Junior. Six to shoot. With the drive. Hey, now five for eight. Shooting a pretty good percentage right now. Such a consistent night for him from the field. Whenever they needed it, he's been their safety guy. Well, we've heard discussions around the league. They may be shortening seasons, Greg, but how about shortening games? You know, we saw that in the bubble in the exhibition games where they went to 10-minute quarters. Oh, slow down here. Look, B.A., I am all about shortening the season. The season is... Definitely very long and taxing on players. Uh, and I'm all about evolving and being innovative as our game continues to grow. But shortening games, no. 48 minutes, you must keep it there. I'm a firm believer that you must keep the games at 48 minutes. Free throw, no good for Junior. Got four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. Drops in the layup for two. Look, that's a nice play. You need no close scoring to keep you off this back. Gotten seven of their first ten shots to go during this fourth quarter. Free throw good, Junior. You know, last year was like no other season in NBA history. That huge gap in the schedule in the summer during the pandemic, and then the players facing enormous challenges coming back. Grant, one thing's for sure, though, the competition level was high despite all of the different setbacks last season. That's so true, B.A. I mean, with all that was going on, all the uncertainty, uh, athletes are so accustomed to rhythm and routine and that being disrupted. But when we came back into the bubble and resumed playing, the level of play was off the charts. It was incredible to see these true professionals elevate their game during these very trying times of last year. No good from 11 feet. Boy, this could snowball if they continue to put up points. I can't say enough about their performance. There's a screen. And that one's long. Gone five of eight from the field so far in the fourth. Blocked. Comes up empty down low. Shooting 58% from the floor. Terrific here in the fourth. 125 left to play in the fourth quarter. 
nice work on the glass, but his defense was even better. Really has an impact on that shot. And down it goes. Two points. Oh, it's all about the assist on that play. He puts it in the perfect spot. Incredible athleticism on display on a nightly basis. Guys getting up so high. See, Webb, I've got one for you. Some say it's not a dunk if your hands don't touch the rim. Did you buy that? Uh, yeah. I am buying that. You know, some people think if you throw it to the net, it's a dunk. No, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm old school. No, I, mean, I, I can debate you, and maybe some people can change my mind. It's a pretty play for all. I mean, you got a dunk. Oh, yeah. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. There's 49 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Pass to Junior. Five on the clock. That one is off. Junior with the rebound. And so it's a victory for the road team in this one. Boy, this crowd has to be shocked by the way their team was dismantled. A shock and surprise. It doesn't matter what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to just waltz in and cruise to the type of victory like we saw tonight. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Chris Weber, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. Thank you for tuning in to watch the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.